Hello, my name is Tom Cunningham and I want to show you a little bit about Unity Web Setup. So what I'm going to do is actually take the interface here, I'm looking at a TVDI, and I'm actually going to go in through Setup and go down to Network, which is going to tell me where to type in the web address uh, necessary for us to log into the integration module. And here you can see it's at 192.168.1.3. I'm going to type that into here into my browser. And uh, bang, we should be right into the uh, web interface. So let me slide the uh, browser up here a little bit so we can get a better view at uh, what the screens will look like here. Um, but the very first thing we'll want to do is look at the display. So, so what we have here on the left is the actual output of a TV display interface that you can see in real time. And on the right here, I'm now into the display interface. So here you can see uh, the two interfaces. Uh, first one here is an LCD console, uh, and it's detected that it actually has an add-on board for Lyric multi-room audio. I'm going to name this thing Kitchen. I'm going to change its timeout time. And here I'm actually showing you the shortcut keys, which are at the bottom of the screen, can actually be altered to what you want. The TV display interface that we're actually looking at is actually in the master bedroom. So I'm going to call this one Master TV, set it to a one hour timeout before it goes to screensaver. And I want to change the uh, shortcut keys here. I'm going to change it to uh, Setup here on the red button. and. Uh, Let's set it to messages here on the last button. I'm going to click OK, and what you should see happening up here in the interface is you'll notice that the, the name has changed as well as the soft buttons at the bottom. Uh, for an example here, I want to show you the add-on board uh, stuff here. So here you can see uh, the different options that are available to you with the Lyric multi-room audio system. We can have whole house exposed, turn on volume, max volume, whether or not you want it to re uh, respond to IR commands at all, the LCD that is and whether or not you want to repeat it. And we even have the ability here to uh, deal with uh, some obscure IR on some different devices. Uh, I'm going to cancel out of here because we don't need to do anything else. Here I'm going to click on cameras and uh, let me uh, give the names here. I happen to know where I plug these things in. I paid attention here when I was wiring up my house. And so the first camera I have here is the baby cam. Uh, second camera happens to actually be the back deck and the last one is the video door camera so I'm going to call this one front door. Uh, here I'm going to reset the uh, sequence time here to default at four seconds, hit uh, save and what will automatically happen now is that these things will all be named and you can see the default name. So here let me go into cameras and you can actually see here this is actually supposed to be the play area. Uh, here's the back deck and if you notice here's the front door here out at the front of the house. So we've now set up our cameras onto the system. So let me go back here up here. Uh, uh, oh, actually, let me actually change this name here. I noticed it's uh, running over, so I'm going to change it to front. And this screen doesn't actually auto update, unlike all the other screens. So here I'm going to go out to the main menu. And then I'm going to just go back and select cameras and come back in. You'll notice it's now named front. So it automatically saves it and it's ready for you to go. So here, let's go back to the main menu. I want to set up my multi-room audio system, and here we can set up the zone locations, the rooms in other words, the sources, and even scenes. So let's go into, into the, uh, the rooms and zones, and here's the main screen here. You can see all the different locations. Uh, we actually have four keypads plugged into a, 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 a Lyric uh, 1x4. Uh, you'll notice that the top one I actually show one uh, local source. I happen to know that happens to be the master bedroom, so I'm going to type that in here. Uh, the second room I know is my son Ryan's room, so we're going to type that one in here. The third one with the built-in add-on board, as you see there in the keypad type, we know is the kitchen LCD. And the last room, of course, is the is my daughter's room, Madison. So let's type that one in here. And we'll select and, and, and push that through. And what you're going to notice on screen is that the names are going to change here automatically, and they have. So now we can go ahead and, and uh, set up the source names that we have. Uh, in my particular location, I only have a 1x4, uh, which is a one source, and then actually a future digital music source here. So I can name up sources 2, 3, and 4 if I want, but they're not going to be active for me. So I'm going to name the first one CD player, as you can see, and I'm going to name the last one source I. I might actually go back. You know, let's, let's actually change that uh, to digital music. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. You'll see that's happened on the screen and we're all good to go. So let me back out here. We'll now go into scenes and scenes is a great thing. It's just like lighting scenes where you can get a preset uh, where you get your house set the way you want it to. Uh, you'll notice that there's eight available here. I'm going to select the first one here and notice everything is populating and of course the first four uh, zones are actually populated there. That's what's in my house. So now I can just set these up exactly the way I want them to. So I can include or exclude. If I don't include it, it's just not going to be affected by anything I change here. But here I'm going to actually change everything in the house. 
So I'm going to tell the master bedroom I don't want you involved, so, so turn off. And the rest of the rooms here, I'm going to set up the two kids' rooms at 20%, uh, uh, put them on, put them all at the CD player, and I'm going to put the kitchen at uh, about 50. I'm going to hit the uh, accept button here, and it takes a little bit longer here for getting this thing set up the first time here, but uh, what's being set up now is, is we're setting up the scene uh, the way that we want it uh, for the home. And uh, the home mark can simply select it and bang, it sets their keypads up exactly the way that you'd want it. I typically also set up scenes like all off it for so I can do it at night. Um, all off meaning my kids, but not me. Um, but, but there's a number of different things that you can do with this thing. And what you're going to see here now is party now shows up here. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna actually select party here in the GUI screen at left and you'll see that it's loaded. And what I'm going to do is let me show you by rooms and, and now you can actually see that the, all the different uh, keypads in, in the house have actually gone to exactly what we set them up for. It worked exactly like you'd expect it to. So let's back out here. I am going to take you now into intercom. And let's take a look at the room settings. So uh, back out here, we'll go into setup, and let's kick on room settings here on the right. And you'll notice that I happen to have three uh, intercom room stations. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did walk around the house to figure out exactly which ones were labeled what. So the first one here, uh, getting a little bit happy, it's not actually Ryan, it's actually the master bedroom, if I remember correctly. So let me retype that one, master bedroom. Uh, no cameras associated with it, but I am going to associate the, the audio zone master bedroom. And you can associate up to four audio zones. And what that does is that allows you to uh, selectively mute the zone when you're communicated with. And we added more than one audio zone because a lot of floor plans now are pretty open. And, uh, you know, you might need to mute a couple keypads to, 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 to be able to accurately hear it. So we give you that flexibility here. Um, so I'm going to go through here. Uh, let me actually so I can show that on the screen. Let's get to the second one here. I happen this one happens to be Ryan's. No camera here, but I am going to associate his audio zone with him. I'm going to leave all the rest of the default settings because they seem to work pretty well for everybody. And now let's get to the last one here, which is Madison. And I'll type this one in here. Uh, Madison. Madison's my youngest, and uh, so I want to keep a little tab on her. I'm going to actually uh, associate the baby cam with her. Uh, as well as her audio zone and what that baby cam association does is it allows me from the kitchen when I go into intercom if I happen to highlight the uh, baby's room, uh, Madison's room rather the camera will, be, will will pop up. So now you can see all three of them are here. Notice that we didn't have the M on master bedroom and that's a, the limitation of what the uh, the GUI screen has on these selective call room units. So I actually decided I'm going to change this thing to master suite and here you can see what that looks like. So let's start back this back out again. We'll go into door settings. I happen to have two doors. I actually have a video door and a regular door. One set up at my side door. The video door is set up out front. Notice these uh, two little icons to the left here. These are the icons and, uh, excuse me, the targets. And the, and the targets allow you to actually go in and it's the locating feature that if you're familiar with Selective Call, it'll actually beep the unit so you know which one you're talking to. With a door unit, if you're using a video door, there's really two ways to do it. You can either use this locating feature, or if it's a video door, the uh, camera index will automatically uh, will automatically associate with the camera that's associated with it. So here's a side door. This is a standard door. I'm going to make the settings here. Uh, you select the chime that you want, uh, you know, any one of the chimes that we have available. I'm going to select that one. You'll notice that immediately that took effect. So here, door two is my video door. Uh, notice that the uh, cameras are already there. We'll name it front door. I'm going to leave the chime the same here. Uh, my house isn't that big, and uh, we'll, we'll sit there, uh, save those settings, and uh, you'll see you'll see the take the name of front door here as well. And I'll go back here to the main menu here, um, and let's go into groups. And what groups do is it allows us to take here and group intercom units together. Uh, which is really effective for making group calls. So I think the kids, at least for me, is, is one of the big things. If I want to call them and get them down here to dinner, it's simple and easy. But also for sending messages. If you want to send messages to specific locations, uh, one of the neat things is to send messages to all the, 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 the units in the house here or only some of them. But uh, here I selected the kids and selected both my kids here. And you'll notice that they've shown up here both on the GUI screen as well as on the web setup. Uh, to just show you how flexible and easy this is to get set up, I'm going to go down here on the GUI screen here with our TV uh, display interface. I'm going to select the master suite here and add it to the group. 
Um, I've already added it now here. Just go back over here to the web page. We'll select it, and you'll actually see it's now actually uh, actually in there as part of the group. I don't really want it there. I'm going to deselect it again. And, and uh, so now we've set up a group here for my kids. Where calling a group or sending a message to the group is going to send or call both of them at the same time. And the last uh, feature here is actually just the system settings, and that's just a one-time setup of getting both the date and time set up here. And you can do this either from the GUI screen at left, or you can do it here in web setup. Really simple, really straightforward uh, here. But uh, what you see here is in about 10 minutes' time, you've completely set up a four-room uh, Unity system.